Well, can you hear me tapping a little bit there? I was kind of kind of tippity tip tapping. Did you hear about this? Is the I did. This, is, this is quite a thing. Surgeons, anesthesiologists, and engineers all team up with vets at the zoo to repair a gorilla's broken arm. Gladys, you know Gladys yeah. was in a little bit of a tussle with a couple of other female gorillas. You know they, they like to tussle, do the gorillas? Broke her arm just above her elbow. I know, bless her heart. The injury isn't a common one for animals. So the zoo called in human doctors for advice. The zoo provided this video of orthopedic surgeons from Children's Hospital as they teamed up with anesthesiologists from UC and the zoo vets to perform the intensive surgery. I'm really happy with how everything went. So I think at the end of the case, we're really happy with how strong the fixation was, um, how well the fracture came together, um, and how her motion is just while she was still under anesthesia. So I'm hopeful that the prognosis is good for a full recovery. Doctors applied a fiberglass cast, but the zoo called engineers at GE to create something stronger. They're creating a custom 3D printed cast out of titanium. It'll be more durable and prevent Gladys from re-injuring her arm, you know, if she gets into any more tussles. Uh, zoo staff is monitoring the 11-year-old gorilla as she heals. And I can't believe Gladys is already 11. Correct. I, I remember, didn't they take her in? Wasn't she, hadn't she been raised by humans like when she was like a baby, baby gorilla? I think and so. And they took her in and to try to reacclimate to other, to other gorillas, I, I guess. That's, I believe her, but I know she's just been there. Yeah for a while but it just seems like she was just you know, still like she just kind got of their baby, baby. yeah, yeah. I, I i am amazed by how the the, the combined medical communities yes. if you will the, the people medical community well, and her, the animal medical heart. community with these engineers came up with a plan to uh to fix her arm and that's and, just mm -hmm. what i love about the cincinnati zoo they will go all out to make sure well think with fiona well, I, mean, yeah. I mean think what they did with fiona and yeah. how many people were involved in that making is. sure fiona was going to be okay so that's yeah. Way to go. Way to go, everybody. Way nice job. And Gladys, get well soon. Yeah. Hey, we are still more than a month away from the first pool day of the season, but the Cincinnati Recreation Commission is looking for lifeguards. Lifeguard training has already begun at the Mount Auburn pool with the next session starting next Friday. Training is free if you apply to work the full summer season at a Cincinnati Rec pool. Got to be 15 years old this year. Lifeguard jobs with the city start at $16 an hour. We have a link with all the info at local12.com. Just look for the get it links. Obviously an incredibly important oh job. Oh my goodness, yes. But a really a really cool job, you know, yeah. for for a teenager who's looking for a little bit of summer work. But uh, I just hope they get enough lifeguards because we how many how many years have we had now over the past say five to seven yes. whatever it is where they've not been able to open certain pools because they just don't have enough people to work or throughout the years they the, the summer they even sometimes have to close them early because you right. know, kids go back to college or school and then they end up not having enough I mean so I hope yeah it's, it's it really is an important place especially for people who don't have a lot of other places to go to to hang out and, and be cool in yep. the summer and great so. work experience too so mm -hmm. think about it think mm -hmm. about it. Okay, Cincinnati is one of the top beer cities in the country. We know that. But now a local brewery makes rank on the Brewer Association's top 50 craft companies. Ryan Guys took the 22nd spot in the annual craft production report. The brewery opened in 2013 and has since expanded its distribution across several states. The only other Ohio brewery named in the report was Cleveland's Great Lakes Brewing Company in 17th place. I'm telling you, we, we've talked about this before. When there was this sort of brewery boom that started, it's yeah. probably been 10, 12 years ago now, where you just felt like a new brewery was opening every week. And you thought, there's just no way. There's no way they can all make it. And they don't all make it, but the percentage that do shows the passion that people have for breweries in this area. And I don't know that anybody does it any better, obviously, than Ryan Guy's. Oh, Ryan Guy's certainly the leader, but uh, or one of the big leaders. But I mean, like you said, they're in every neighborhood now. Correct. And every time they open, I think, oh, I don't know. But people pack them and they love it. They just, just because of the sheer quantity, I was wondering, you know, like, would if they'd be able to keep, keep it keep alive. Going, but they do. Yeah, and the, and the guys are Ryan Guy's. And they're great right. gathering they places because a lot of them have, you know, are family friendly, have games. You can bring your family in. Like, it's just a really Very cool much thing. about the community yeah. where, they're, where they're set up. Yeah. Hey, my Miami University Athletics, hey, look at you. Uh, Miami University Athletics made a name for itself as one of the dominant programs in the Mid-American Conference. Yeah, not like I had anything to do with that. It's just my alma mater, but I, so I love them. Uh, football, it's football and softball programs both gained some national attention, but now the Red Hawks eSports team is making some noise. They're now considered by someone, some as one of the top competitive video game colleges in the country. You can even get your degree in eSports Management. It's a different world, Jen. One of the group's top teams is the Rocket League squad. Our students here take uh, both their academics 
uh, and you know the the varsity side of things very seriously. And I feel very fortunate to work with the students that I've got. Now, some might not consider this an actual sport, but eSport gaming is one of the fastest growing communities in the world. One thing the university is still working through is its ability to offer scholarships to current professional players. And I had heard of universities before offering eSports Like degrees, scholarships and degrees. But and just, I didn't, yeah. this is the first that I've heard, and maybe they're out there, but this is the first that I personally have heard of the eSports management, like managing of the esports. It's that big an industry. When you start getting into the gaming, I mean, it's it's billions upon billions of dollars. It's, it's pretty wild. And, and Eric, who I believe is on teleprompter right now, so he's not in Studio B, I think maybe was on the esports at NKU. Is that oh, right, really? guys? Yeah. So, you know, he's, ah. he's one of those folks who at least, you know, played one, one of the games, you know, that they're playing now. I can't remember what he told me. What well, game would he tell me? Uh, Something. Uh, anyway, he did. What did he say? He's yelling at Valorant. Valorant? Valorant. 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 Love well, that one. You know what? Eric, I challenge you to Pac-Man. <laughs> oh, Old that's true. Old school right there. That's we, true. Bob and I made. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I play. I, Boom. I got so good at Pac-Man, I played with my feet. I know you did. To challenge myself. I know you're a yeah. very gifted that's right. individual. That's, right. that's why I tell everybody. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.